someone who did not want to be a war president, but was forced into that terrible responsibility. And he, in six words, I think, in his Gettysburg Address, captured that depth of sacrifice when he talked about the last full measure of devotion. That's what our veterans give us, the last full measure of devotion. And we should, and it's right that we honor that. But he also talked about the reciprocal responsibility on all of us who are not veterans to take that sacrifice and make it mean something in our society, make it mean a better country, a place of opportunity and hope and success for everyone, veteran and otherwise. And he spoke about that as well in his second inaugural address. He talked about citizenship in almost poetic terms. He said, the mystic chords of memory stretching from every battlefield and patriot's grave to every living hearth and hearthstone all over this broad land shall yet swell the chorus of union when again touched as surely they will be by the better angels of our nature. What better words to describe what we as a community should call on, the better angels of our nature. How can we care for one another, veteran and otherwise? How can we build a better society for all of us? And when we think about what we do for our veterans, we should redouble those efforts, as Sam just mentioned. You know, my father was a veteran, and he got his education thanks to the GI Bill. My Uncle Keith was a Vietnam veteran, and he got great medical treatment thanks to a generous country who made sure that that medical care was there for him. And my son Andy, who's a veteran, is now working today uh, on a ship in the Gulf of Mexico because his employer has a preference for hiring veterans. Those are the things that we can do, as Tony said, to make Veterans Day every day. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for making this.